And uh, the next group is Food Cloud. Um, and Food Cloud is a collaboration between uh, Trinity College Dublin in Ireland and University of Modern Virginia in Italy. And uh, you might wonder what a group of Irish and Italian students would do together. And the, and the answer is speak about food. which is a social enterprise based in Dublin whose aim is to fight food waste. Let's see now together how we wanted to fight the food waste with Adelia. One third of all food produced worldwide is wasted. The food waste was a country with the third largest greenhouse gas in the world right after China and the US. Globally, 1.3 billion tons of food is wasted annually. The food waste that America produces in half a day could fill an entire football stadium. It's 25% of all food waste coming from the hospitality and food service sector. The challenge we were doing was to effect a step change reduction of food waste in this sector by 2020. Redistributing excess food from restaurants to those in need is almost impossible due to food safety regulations. Repurposing excess food into another product can lead to high energy costs, which are just as bad for the environment. But by reducing avoidable food scraps, you can have the biggest impact, as these food scraps make up for 79% of food waste in the hospitality and food service sector. The majority of this food waste is due to oversized portions and food that's just not satisfactory. Our solution tracks food waste in canteens. Trays are tied to link food wasted to each menu item. An app allows customers to give feedback via their food waste. And our tray app uses a convolution neural network to classify ingredients and computer vision to calculate the amount of food waste. The data guide can allow canteens to reduce their food waste, food costs, and their impact on the environment. This is Flow Waste. Producing food waste one tray at a time. So, this is Flow Waste. But before introducing you our system, we would like to get uh, to share a little how we got here. So, our main focus, as you have seen, is company canteens. But why? Because this is one of the places where most of the food scraps are created in the, in the hospitality and food service sector. And this is also, also one of the places where it is possible to create awareness, to educate people, and to create an habit in people, to do behavioral change. But let's see why this, uh, this system works. Because, first of all, we want to ensure to our three main stakeholders a unique system which, can, which is composed by three components. So we first of all have for our final customer, our first stakeholder, a, a customizable app. For our company staff, uh, of the canteen, we have a smart tray storage system. Why? For our management, we have a digital platform. Why did this work? Because we have seen that actually, in the hospitality and food service sector, and especially in the, in the company canteens, there are some recurrent problems. These problems can be seen, for example, with our customer today. The customer of the canteen, of course, would not like to waste some food. But at the end of the day, he does it. And why? because he might not like what he's eating, or because the portion sizes are not so good, or because he's just picking something around the week and he does not know all the ingredients of the food, of course, or he's over-ordering because taking the menu can be more convenient than single items. Well, and what about the staff in the canteen? Well, their workload is very heavy. What they're doing every day is to clean the plates and the trays and everything is very messy, chaotic and they're not happy with it. Last but not least, the management today. Of course they would like to improve their service, they would like to cut costs and give a better service, but how do they do that? Thanks to some new strategic decisions which are based on data. So, together with me we have seen the main problems of our three stakeholders. And now, my colleague will guide you through the solution that we can offer together with FlowList. So, first I plug in the actual final customer in the canteen. 
they want a full user experience, and that starts with our app. That app gives them individualized recommendations of what food to eat to cook their food waste. After this, they receive individualized breakdown of how they are impacting the problem. They can also give feedback and rate the meals, time manager why they wasted food. This really gives context to the pure quantitative data that we're producing with our trailer. Also, they're incentivized to cut their food waste with gamification. So, that's for the passionate user. What about the more passive user who wants to get on with their day or in a rush to get back to work? Well, we have, at high level, a dashboard that just goes through global food waste facts to raise awareness of the problem. It also tells them how this establishment is impacting the problem. One thing we found from our need finding is that people want a nice, comfortable level to place the tray. They don't want to bend down, they don't want to lift up. They just want to put it there and move on with their day. So that's exactly what we gave them. People simply pass the tray in, and the system does the rest of the work. Pulls the tray in, lowers it down to the correct amount, and they go about their day. Next, let's look at the canteen staff. There's one key insight that we found that stood at all the rest of the canteen staff. Uh, they are the only people in this process who do not directly benefit from reducing food waste. The management do, the customers do, the staff don't actually see that direct benefit. They have a hectic schedule, constantly running to, fro, moving tray racks, cleaning plates, it's all go. So any solution we implement, they are the biggest friction point. They just want to get on with their work. So we need to make the process as simple as possible for them. So that's exactly what we've done with the tray rack. We can simply pull the tray in, lower it just enough for the next tray to go right on top to densely pack the trays. This reduces how frequently the tray rack has to be empty, really cutting their workload down a lot. Also, if it can go down, it can go straight back up, reducing the amount of bending when unloading the tray, creating a healthier work environment. So, this tray rack has loaded data using machine learning, 3D cameras, and plate tracking. But what do we actually do with that data? Well, we give it to the management. Management have two goals. One is financial, they are a business after all, and two is their social responsibility to the environment. We want to combine those two goals and get the best out of both worlds. So doing that, we give them the data so they can cut their food waste and then cut the costs associated. So what data do we actually need to give them? Well, there's three key things they need to see. One, what food is actually being wasted. Two, what menu item or dish that food is coming from, and three, what is the quantity of that dish and food. So, how effective could this actually be? Well, if you're with an average candy, you can see between 40 and 75 percent reduction in food waste. That's an $85,000 cut in annual expenditure for an average US candy, coming from cuts in procurement costs of 3 percent and disposal costs of 35 percent by and done less food. Also, if you're implanted across the world, we would see a 0.4% reduction in all CO2 gases. So, to summarize, we were, tired, we were challenged with creating a step change in food waste reduction in the hospitality and food service sector. If the system was implemented, we would see 23% reduction, and I would call that a step change. This could then be implemented in restaurants and households with different form factor. It also benefits all three stakeholders in the process. Thank you for listening. We'd love to have you understand later and we'll have to take any questions now.
reducing food waste. But we found that canteens per, uh, per food item are way higher in food waste. Restaurants produce a similar amount of food waste, but there's actually four times more restaurants in the world than canteens. So canteens actually produce four times more food waste per food item. Um, so they are a way bigger food waste than canteens, so that's where we wanted to target our product first. That could be very true. Um, thankfully, I don't put the food in the canteen because then no one would eat it. But this data can actually be fed back. The, in, with the app, we can actually see why people didn't eat the food. Was it the fact that it was cooked poorly or didn't taste right? And that can really give context to the, you know, if you just gave raw numbers of this amount of kilograms of food is wasted, you wouldn't get that data. But the app actually allows the manager to see what went wrong with that food. So therefore, they can change their practices around the ingredients. Other questions? Yeah. If I, if I understand this correctly, the, the uh, food on the trays gets recognized by image recognition. And, and how accurate is that? So there's typically two or three ingredients, right? So how does it notice we get the other food over the country? Sure, yeah. So what we actually do is when we implement this in the canteen, the first four weeks will basically just be training a neural network. So we use a convolutional neural network, and the one we have on this device right here is between 89 and 93% accurate, depending on the actual ingredients. Um, but we actually train it on the individual menu of that canteen. So that's how it works, and we know when it goes into the machine what is initially on the plate. So that really simplifies it down, so we actually tag the plate before it goes in. Yep. Did you manage to change any menu in any team? Did you have any impact or did So we did some testing with uh, some uh, company canteens and we still haven't done the change, but we provided some data regarding uh, the, the menu items that were uh, wasted the, the most. So that is an important uh, tool already for the, for the company. Other questions? A final one? Um, of course, like, uh, we, we witnessed that part of the change was actually <coughs> from the behavior of the customers. And um, can you elaborate how you provide the data to support this behavioral change? Well, um, first of all, we, thanks to the, to, to the app, we give this data to the customer. But the customer is only having this data from the de from the dashboard in the in the smart tray holder, uh, which can you see in the in the booth later on. And uh, something very really important is that these data are uh, crucial to create an habit for the for the person that is using the canteen. So creating uh, this habit, it is possible to create a behavioral change because they are used to go every day during the, their work uh, work day to lunch, and every day they are going to consult the menu and see, okay, I didn't take this uh, this dish uh, yesterday because I didn't like this, so uh, this might affect also uh, my, my, my behavior in the other days. And seeing also the impact, so the data about the impact can be very important because I can see that the whole week I have been wasting, uh, for example, some, uh, some potatoes, and that can be an indicator for me to say, okay, the whole week I haven't been able to eat all the potatoes, so maybe today I shouldn't take them. Okay. Those questions give you indication, right? Exactly. Uh, this is an, uh, an important point because uh, we, we already tested it in a, in a company, for example, uh, to create a game among the, the different departments inside a company. What does it mean? It means that we ask to the, to the employees of the company to create some rules, for example, R&D uh, versus um, uh, marketing, and they have to challenge each other to who uh, wastes less. 
So the, the team that then wins has some benefits, for example, some, um, some team uh, rewards and some, uh, some events, some dinners, and something related to the health and to the uh, well-being inside the company. And in this way, we create a good habit also among the departments, and it can be uh, a way to push people towards uh, healthier and well-balanced diet, and also not to waste food. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you.